Hey, what's up everybody? My name is TrophyNet and welcome back to The Witcher 3 on the Dead March difficulty. Since we're done with all the scavenging hunts in the base game, today we're gonna do some uh, of the side quests I left lying around. So today we're in Yantra, in the north of the Novigrad map, and there seems to be someone in trouble here. Can I help? What's the problem? Oh, nothing. On your way now, good man. Shut it, got at. He could help. Okay. Little Red's band means to attack the village. Want revenge on Bertram. We haven't much, but we're willing to pay if you defend us. Uh, I think I can do that. Who's Little Red? Who's Little Red? Word is she fornicates with wolves and can tear them out oh, with her Oh, Little bare Red mitts. Riding Hood. A she beast in human husk. Though some call her a great beauty. She, she might actually be. Deserters. Two dregs from different armies. The kind what knows killing and plundering well. I wonder if this is part of one of the DLCs. Why do they want revenge? Why does this band want revenge on you of all people? Because. Because I ratted on them to the witch hunters. Witch hunters care about bandits? Since when? Little Red's band. They was terrorizing our village. We had none to defend us. Finally, Bertram went by the hunters, asked them. So the hunters went after him. We had a spell of peace, but now Little Red's learnt of it all. Wants to kill Bertram. He's done for if you don't help. Okay, fine, I'll help you. Fine, I'll handle the bandits. Go to your homes, bar the doors. Beware of them, Witcher. They're the dangerous type, truly. Okay. If you say so, Little Red. I'm quickly gonna check out the quest log here. Nope, seems like a side quest from the main game, so uh, it's even level 15, so this is not gonna be hard. Uh, wait until dusk for Little Red's band to attack, okay. There we go, it's dusk. That dusk? Should be dusk. Hello? Maybe a bit further. 8 p.m., is that dusk? Apparently not. Maybe 9 p.m. then? I mean, it's getting dark. Yeah, there we go. Defend the villagers. A witcher? Did the villagers hire you? Well, the thing about beauty wasn't true, apparently. Word is you got a lot in common with monsters. <laughs> they did, to defend them from monsters. And humans who can be monsters. And you believe me to be such? Are you? Find out for yourself if you dare. Or give me Bertram. No one else will get hurt. Um, no. Leave. What did Bertram do to you? We kind of know that already, but maybe she has vengeance. another explanation. Uh, mean they didn't mention this bit? Then listen. He came to me a half year back. Said he'd point out who's worth looting in return for a share of the takings. But sometime on, the bugger grew greedy. He wanted more. I refused. That's when he set the witch hunters on us. Lost half me men because of him. Now step aside, Witcher. This ain't your affair. We want Bertram, no one else. Give my word. So this Bertram is an asshole, but I still deal with bandits nonetheless. I killed a lot of them in their bandit camp, so why not this band? Um, leave or there will be blood. Don't care much what you say. Take your men and get lost, or there'll be blood. Oh, there'll be blood either way. You just ensured there'll be more of it. What the? Did she just do what I think she did? Holy shit, she's a werewolf. There we go, that's taken care of. And in the chest. And in two, and now this guy. Rumble time. There we go. Little Red quest updated. Wonderful hiding he gave him. You failed to mention she was a werewolf. No, well, they did mention I mean, that. We wasn't altogether sure ourselves, but that's a good thing. It's what witches are for, isn't it? Killing monsters. Yeah, indeed. Thanks for your help. This is well earned. Where is Bertram? And that guy just vanished. He was a ghost! He's gone! Um, where's this Bertram guy? I wanna, I wanna stick my sword up his ass. No! 
peasant, peasant, peasant. What's going on there? No, just peasants. And a female peasant. Anybody else? We gotta check out the werewolf. Werewolf, a mother's letter. Dearest Lily, if you are reading this, this that means both your father and I are dead. I have asked Egwart to give you this letter. Only when it is certain neither of us will return. A great deal happened while you were away at the academy. One of your father's ships sank and we fell into debt. I did not write you then because I did not want to worry you. Did not want you to return. Your education and future are what matters most to us. Our creditors began to call in our loans and refused to accept payment to installments. When we were forced to admit we could not return the entire sum, they swore to destroy us. Some thugs began following our every step, never letting us out of their sight. It was only a matter of time before the family secret was discovered. They directed the witch hunters to us and we were thrown in the dungeon. I heard the guards gossiping about how we, how we are to have a show trial and a show execution. I gave one of my wedding rings and he agreed to show allow Edward to visit us. Your father wishes to give him some final instructions and I want to give him this letter, our last unexpected farewell. Be strong, my sweet, for in your veins flows the blood of the men and wolves. And with that comes responsibility. I forbid you to avenge us. That will not bring us life and will only bring you the executioner's axe. You cannot die, not in that way. You must prove with your life and conduct that men and lycanthropes can live together in harmony. Leave town as soon as possible. Take only what is necessary. Say farewell to no one. Do not show yourself in public. Journey to where we used to hunt when you were a young girl and brace for the worst. The people were there surely do not remember us, but they are good, simple villagers. They will treat you with kindness. Let us hope the madness of this persecution will soon end and you will be able to return home. In the meantime, take care of yourself and do not let them provoke you. Remember who you are and do not let anyone convince you that it is something evil. This is how you were born and you should be proud of it. Live for us. We love you. Mother. So a family of lycanthropes that, uh, well, Little Red turned out a bit worse than that. Because um, she turned to be a bandit. Actually kind of similar to what happens to uh, Little Red Riding Hood in uh, Once Upon a Time, if you watch that. Uh, let's see, how much time do I have left? We still have time for another quest, so uh, I'm gonna head towards Skellige for the next one. And when I say Skellige, I mean Blackbow in uh, Valen, because uh, apparently I still have another quest available here. Probably the last one on the map. And we need to help out this old woman, apparently. What's the matter? A monster bothering you? Nay, a ghost. A ghost? Tell me more. Can you tell me anything more? You see, Jackamar haunts my dreams. Jackamar's my husband, or was till he died at war. He stands by me headboard and wails. So many years apart, I've such woe in the beyond. Come join me. Okay, you that's say, not a friendly come, husband, Jackamar, is he? But when the gods summon me, not before. Then he says. Leave your wedding ring by me grave. It'll make the white and lighter. And I'd leave it, were the woods not so terrifying. Wait. So, I thought to myself, maybe you. That sounds like somebody is playing a prank on you. Sure trying to get that fancy ghost. wedding ring off you. You saying I can't tell me own man? I'm old, but I ain't gone daft yet. Not what I meant. There's wraiths that deceive. Assume the form of dead loved ones. Troes, for instance, or Dunnies. Nay, I'm sure this is Jackamore. In me dreams, he spoke of our nuptials. How we danced at Bellatane. How the Redanians killed him at Rind. Okay. Rind? You've either mixed something up or you're very old indeed. Battle happened 80 years ago. Oh, why? Slip of the tongue. Meant to say the Battle of Rivia. Okay, this is starting to get really weird. I can do it, but I'm glad to help. Where's Jack? I want to investigate a bit further. The cemetery near Blackbow, in a grave neath the old tree. Here, take me ring. Once you've laid it down, come to me for your reward. We live in a hut in the middle of the village with my granddaughter, Lessie. Okay. 
So, how Where old is she hell? really? <sighs> Strange. Wait, did she just disappear? Okay. Is she a ghost as well? That's gonna be interesting, but... Find the old woman's husband's grave and using your witcher senses. Uh, I think that grave is right next to the pallor from... Uh, well, from the Baron and the beginning of the game. Um, yeah, because over there lives the, the pallor. Uh, let's see... Which grave is it? Is it this one? This? Oh no, it's this one apparently. Must be Jackamar's grave. Okay, let's place the ring on it then. There we go. All right, that's done. There's a very tiny little ring on top of it. Okay, return to the old woman for a reward. Why is there a dead guy over here, by the way? That's kind of weird. Why isn't he buried? But let's see about the old woman, what she really is, because I don't think she's human anymore. Humans don't just disappear at random. And... Well, if she is that... That was a weird spot. If she is that old, then how old is her granddaughter? She must be old as well, then. But, let's take a look. Although the granddaughter looks fine, apparently. First Lassie, that was... Past, then the pox, now the younger. Grim Reaper must be having a lark. Okay, hello, Lassie. Witcher, what brings ye? Um, I delivered the ring your grandmother asked me to put Lassie, on the grave right. of your grandfather. Wanted to talk to your grandma. To my... But she's been yep. dead for years. Yep, there we go. Guess I talked to a ghost. That was weird. Why wasn't she buried alongside her husband? I can't say for certain. I was a little lass then. But my mum told me that shortly before Grand died, she learned Grandad had kept lovers on the side. She had no desire to lie beside him. Seems she changed her mind. She wanted something to connect her and her husband in the afterlife. Asked me for help. That's hard to believe. But you've an honest look about ye. If you helped Gran, you deserve a reward. Here, taint much, but I'm afraid it'll have to do. Well, thank you, Wait, Lassie. Gran. What's your business? Bloody Baron That was interesting. So, I reunited an old couple after death. Last rites. Another quest completed. Um, I think we still have time for another one. And I think there's still something in Oxenford. A quest that the developers added as a joke, and otherwise I'm just going to tell you about it in Oxenford. But let's head over there. So, Oxenford. It's been a while since I've been here, since the uh, Hearts of Stone expansion. I really like this little town. Uh, it's one of the bigger ones in The Witcher. But I think if we talk to this guy over here, Waltimore Mitty. Is that actually referring to the movie? Well, never mind. Can I talk to you? Wait, can't I talk to you? They added this guy in because he's a kind of a tax collector. And he's going to check if I didn't do any exploits. I kind of bumped him out of his uh, his paper here. Um, hmm, maybe I should meditate a bit more. Hmm, interesting. Normally he would ask you a few questions about which exploits you have used. And if you answered correctly on a few of those you would need to pay extra taxes because it's kind of a joke from the uh, developers to, uh, well, to address the uh, numerous money exploits there were in the game uh, before they patched them out. And this guy would uh, check up on that. But apparently it didn't happen because I could get a diploma from that if I didn't use any exploits. But apparently he's not in the mood. Nope, he's still not interested. Tried meditating a few times, but... Doesn't seem like he's interested in me. Sad, but what's this? Oxford sewers has been closed. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else I could do here. That's sad because it's a nice wink from uh, CD Projekt Red towards the, the players that they don't really mind using uh, exploits, but yeah. Sad that I can't do anything. But uh, with that done, I think I'm gonna just take a little break. So that's kind of three side quests that we did already. And, uh, well, we'll stay here right next to uh, Baltimore Mitty here. And, uh, yeah, I'd like to thank you all enormously for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. 
And if you haven't already, don't forget to give it a thought to subscribe to my channel, because I'd really appreciate any support you guys can give me. So thanks again enormously for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video series. Goodbye. Yeah,